Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you through a very special day, my 31st birthday. It was filled with surprises and the best part of it is that my husband planned the entire day. Like, okay, before I get all excited, spoiler alert, this is my first ever ferry ride. Nah, I'm not shy. <laughs> I'm not shy. After all, I only just got started driving at the age of 30. So... In my dictionary, it's never too late. If I didn't have the opportunity to do something, it's not because I didn't want to do it. It's because I didn't have the means to do it. And I was raised to live within my means because there is peace in living in your reality. I also know that when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. And so... While I'm trying my best in life, I am not in a hurry to live the life of someone else. That being said, let's dive into today's video. As B. And this is Moa. <laughs> Point P. I started the day with my usual morning devotion. And as always, it's so refreshing to begin the day just reading through the Bible and grounding yourself in God's word. If you're not doing this yet, I really encourage you to try it. One thing that truly stood out today was the reminder that the Lord's mercy will never depart from me. The mercy of God holds me close and the mercy of God guides me in his love. Constant love. Like, I'm going to tell you what this means to me by the end of this video because I just know that God loves me and I'm always on time because of his love for me. Now let's jump into today's plan. Uh, I just wanted to share how beautiful today already feels and I cannot wait to take you guys on a ride to the ferry and to see the island of Peel, Pele, Peel. Hello. If you know the right pronunciation, please spell it so I can pronounce it from your comments. Um, but generally, it's been very peaceful here. I mean, the hotel is very quiet and everything is just going well. Hope it's going well at your end. I'll show you around the breakfast very briefly. I'll be like privacy. <laughs> and then we can go. We're actually thinking if we should drive down or if we should take an Uber because we don't know about the parking space other than that. I'm almost ready. I haven't applied sunscreen, so I'm going to be doing all that. Um, but first, I need to eat. I'm hungry. I'll see you guys. I had a good strong cup of coffee along with some pancakes and some home fries and once we were done we headed back to the room to get dressed i squeezed in a little birthday treat by unboxing a fresh pair of new balance sneaker yeah they are so comfortable and super nice they are perfect for whatever kind of walking we had planned out for today
and i decided to wear this super comfy jumpsuit from sheen um the jacket is from h&m and yes i'm wearing socks even though it's warm <laughs> anyone else find it weird to wear sneakers without socks let me know in the comments because i just can't do it i cannot do it <laughs> Hey besties, so we are waiting for the Uber and we decided not to take the car because we're not sure what to expect when we get there <laughs> and then just because of security over here we decided to do otherwise so our Uber is here and we are set to go see you use your seatbelt for your safety oh. Oh, oh. Oh. just a few minutes drive so I just have my waist bag. We have some more bags. We are good. Yeah, but the uh, bike, I think uh, it's much better. Much fun. Cool. Much fun, okay. Now we're gonna get a bike inside when we get to the island? Yes, right where you get off, there's lots of places to rent it. Uh, so even nice. you know the buggy uh, cart, uh, yes. rent even a uh, cart, uh, what's it called, golf cart? Yes. Or oh. bicycle, yes, we'll do oh. so We'll love it more. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. So much. Wow. Once we were ready, the Uber came and let me tell you, our driver was so helpful. He answered all our questions about whether leaving the car was the right choice and gave us all the tips we needed for the day. How cute. Next up was the ticket office, you guys. Hobby already booked it online last night as I got to know this morning. So it was way cheaper that way. Little hack for you all planning to come to Point Pill. Always check the official website for prizes rather than relying on Google. So Hobby told me that when he Googled the price or the estimated cost, it was way higher. And so when he booked online, it was like half the price of what he saw online. And he was like, is this for two or for one? So he didn't know how to like ask me or just tell me about it because he was still trying to plan it himself, right? <laughs> but yeah, good thing is he got our tickets in no time. And then it was just a short wait before we started boarding. The first passenger allowed on were those with cars and then it was our turn as walk-ons. I think this is just because they want the cars to settle in and, you know, get to capacity before they allow, you know, pedestrians. <laughs> the boarding area had these open metal stairs that looked a bit intimidating to me at first but they were actually solid okay so if you're a bit nervous while you're climbing the stairs just know that it's fine it's pretty solid good yes very good once we got inside it was amazing there were hundreds of comfortable seats with charging pots. It wasn't on every chair, but it was on like random areas that you can actually reach easily, which is great. And guess what? Each seat could recline slightly, making it so relaxing during the ride. Like I loved it. Since it's a warm September day, of course, the best month of the year, <laughs> we decided to just sit out and take in the view this lake oh my gosh it's massive for a second i almost did not believe it was a lake sometimes i just marvel at god's creation how it all speaks to his greatness standing there overlooking this beautiful big amount of water i couldn't help but feel god's presence he created this vast he created this beautiful world and I'm so grateful to experience everything God created.
So I went for a walk around the ferry to just kind of explore a bit more. I saw where the cars were packed underneath and it was like, okay, not bad. I don't feel bad for not bringing my car. <laughs> and there were seats on every side of the ferry, like all four sides. You get to see seats so that you can have good view, like wherever, you know, it's so cute, right? And it's just beautiful because they were so intentional. Like you could really take in the view from anywhere. After a while, I decided to sit with Abby and we just enjoyed the peacefulness of the trip together. That was the best part of just sitting in the ferry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The entire ride took roughly about 90 minutes to one hour. I'm including wait time right now. And before we knew it, we were getting ready to disembark. Hobby held my hand as we made our way down and he smiled saying, I hope you love the surprise. <laughs> and you know what? He was so right. There's something so beautiful about experiencing something new with someone you love. It's a reminder that God's timing is perfect and even things we wait years to do will come to us just at the right moment. And sometimes they come in the form of a person who loves us and wants to make our day unforgettable. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for this part of my birthday celebration. <laughs> my prayer is that if there's something you're waiting on, God will bring it to you in the most beautiful, unexpected way. I do have more videos of what we did on the Highland. 
So if you would like to see that video, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you are notified when the last video is uploaded. Thank you so much for being here, for celebrating with me, and for sharing in these moments of joy and reflection. And stay tuned for the final part of my vlog coming soon. I love you all and I'll see you next time.